happy to announce the winner as Cash Value Life Insurance. Let's talk about reality when it comes to numbers and when it comes to financial planning. When we run these comparisons showing cash value life insurance versus a 401k, we are not creating our own spreadsheets. We're not making up numbers. We are using an NAIC approved illustration from an A plus rated insurance company. In addition, we are being very generous with what we are using with our stock market returns when we use 10%. The truth of the matter is that the annualized return of the S&P 500 since the turn of the century, 22 years, the CAGR is only 7%. But also understand that according to research done by Dalbar, an independent investment research firm, the average investor underperforms the overall stock market by at least 25%. Why? It's because of timing mistakes and this little thing called behavioral finance, meaning that they get FOMO and they end up getting in at the wrong time. They get scared during crashes and recessions and they get out at the wrong time. And then of course, there's this little thing that's simply called life happens where they need access to cash. But if they've been following the traditional Wall Street financial planning model, they have very little access to cash and everything's tied up in their 401k. So then when they go to pull money out of that 401k, they're getting hit with a 10% IRS penalty, they're paying 15 or 20% income tax, and if they're doing it during a recession or a down period, then they're also locking in losses. So it's like they're constantly taking four steps forward and then three steps back. So to summarize, with our life insurance projections, we're being very, very realistic, if not conservative. And with our stock market projections, we're being very, very generous. And guess what? Life insurance, retirement income still destroys the retirement income from a 401k. And that's why 